So, minigame stadium. This is not the one player mode. Oh, I thought the coaster was. The nice. coaster is the one player mode. Oh. Stadium is the stadium mode. There are three different modes in minigame stadium. Okay. There is battle, trial, and duel. <laughs> battle is you just compete in a series of minigames. Duel is you play a series of duel minigames. Trial is the one that, um... You remember in Mario Party 1 there was the minigame stadium that had a map that you run around? I think so, yeah. And you just did minigames? That's what the... the... the duel... No, the, the trial is in this one. Okay. So... Here, we're, we'll just show off each of the modes. Battle, you're playing just a series of minigames. Again, you have the super hard difficulty option. Battle T is, again, our host. Here we are in the stadium. We've got fans in the stands, and they've got flags for all of their favorites. You choose how many wins to, to compete for, 3, 5, or 7. And then you decide what type of minigame to play for 1v3 or 2v2. And that'll be the type that you play for the whole challenge and then it will randomly pick a mini game and then you do the mini game <laughs> uh you can skip the explanation in this for uh mode you can actually do that in um the the boards you can tell it to there's an option in the, the pause menu where you can skip over the mini game explanation screens <laughs> to make things go a little faster. Uh, when somebody wins a game, they get a trophy in this mode. On a draw, nobody gets a trophy. Whoever gets the selected number of win trophies first is the winner of the match. Like that. Mm -hmm. And it plays the win music. And we've got Mario's the victory. And that's, that's trial mode. No, battle. That's battle mode. Now you can look at the other modes. Plus the other modes. Duel mode is basically the same as battle, except instead of th th four players, you have two players because it's all the dual mini games. Uh, also, I'm taking this opportunity to show off a couple of things in the dual mini games that we didn't see before. All right. So, uh, again, you have a super hard option. I opted not to do that for this, so I can show things off. So, you also get the option, um, you've got your, your 3, 5, or 7 win match that you can pick through, uh, or you can select to have random duels, or pick which duels you do each time, manually. Uh -huh. And you get the, all six of the dual mini games available to pick from. We saw those. Uh... We've seen all of the dual mini games before. Yeah. But, uh, let's just see a couple of things real quick here. So, Saber Swipes, this is the Pirate Lands dual minigame. Um. Oh, that's, that's just, here's what happens when you win. Oh. Somebody wins, you get a trophy, as with the thing. Uh, in Saber Swipes, this is what it looks like when someone fails. They just kind of stop briefly and uh -huh. to, to shake their head. Mushrooms. In this, we never actually saw what happens when somebody wins the wizard duel. They get a star out of their their pot, their potion pot. But they That's don't it. get the star. You don't get the star, no. It's not a star that you actually pick up and collect. Uh, and then in Bowser Land, uh, here's what it looks like in the, the Rock Paper Mario, when you have Mario versus Bowser. <laughs> That's it for dual mode. Thanks, dual mode. It's the mode where you can play dual mini games. That's it. That's it. Now, we can check out Trial Mode, which is its own map. It's a board game map of the board with the minigame stadium. Uh, for some reason, the super hard difficulty is not available in Trial Mode. Cool. Super hard is only available in modes where you are only playing minigames and not having a board. Uh, in trial mode, you get to select a handicap, so you can start with extra coins. This is a great way to grind coins. <laughs> um, as with Mario Party 1, the the trial map, you get 10, 20, or 30 turns as your options. This is minigame stadium. Here's Battle T. 
It's test mini games against each other. There's no stars here. It's all coins, and all the coins are for mini games. She don't get coins from red or blue spaces. Uh -huh. But also, when you lap the board, you get ten coins. So that's that's a thing. But otherwise, it's it's a board. It's basically like playing regular Mario Party, only nobody cares. Kinda. It's it's Mario Party light. It's mini games only. You get ten coins as a present on top of the, the handicap that you start with. Because sometimes you can lose coins from mini games. It's true. So here's the map. We've got the stadium. It's got sports. Look at those sports. All the sports. And here's the stands. Look at all oh, these. We got there's... Goombas and Toads and Koopas in the stands. And they They're got all, all the flags of their favorites. Coming together to cheer on our contestants. This is DK flags and Mario flag and all of the flags. They're all happy to cheer. And we're, there's there's a pail of soccer balls. And down at the bottom here, we've got some battle mini game spaces. And look at all these pink cones. Why are there so many pink cones? I don't know. There's sports. And there's the, the podium, the prize podium where you get the trophies. And uh, more sports. Sports. Shot put. That's sport. Rest cage match? There's the thing that you have the dual mini games, I guess, in the center there. Here's the overview look of the map. It's a figure eight. Mm -hmm. Like a sports. Yeah, as you see here, when you land on a space, it doesn't give you coins or take away coins. It just is the color for determining the type of minigame that you play at the end of the round. So here, everyone, it's the blue space, so we got the four-player game. And you play the mini game, and then after the game, you get your results, and the result screen is the same as normal, but it doesn't have stars on it. Okay. That's it. And here's when you pass by the battle tee at the top, you get ten coins for lap. And you play however many turns that you had, and then that's the end. Do you think the T in battle tee stands for toad? Presumably, but it might not. That's a lot of coins. That is a lot of coins. I don't know why it shows off the number of coins and then has a then we'll announce the winner with like several text boxes before it just declares, yes, this person who we already showed you has the most coins, they're the winner in this game where only the coins matter. Well, probably because it's the same programming as the main. Yeah. Uh, as with Mario Party 1, this is the best way to grind coins in this game is to load up minigame stadium, have four computer players run through it, and then on the last turn take control of all of them, and then you get all of the coins. Yep. Now let's check out minigame coaster. Sure. Our one player mode. Yeah, so last time we tried to do this, we were disappointed. Yeah, we, oh, we tried this uh, in a scrap live recording earlier, so um, this is more difficult than I was expecting. More difficult than I remembered. Mm. Um, also, something to just show off here. Uh, you know, you, you choose your character and your partner. Something that has been in all of the, the minigame land things that I haven't mentioned is all of the characters have a description mm -hmm. of, like, how they play. Princess Peach elegantly clears games. DK powers his pride and clears games in top form. Wario Trickery is his forte. And Yoshi's is... big round eyes are so cute. Is it? So apparently. And what about Mario? He skillfully handles any game. Because he's... he's our happy hero. These all basically say they're good at game. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, their, their descriptions are a bit more meaningful in the board version modes. But hey, here's our, our minigame coaster. Yeah. I don't know why it's called a coaster. It's more of a mine car. But um, here we've got a car you know coaster. Roller coasters were originally mine carts that people just fucked with. Yeah, probably. Anyway, you get nine worlds, like with minigame islands in the first one. Okay. Except in this one. You don't gain lives for beating games. You just you lose lives when you lose a game. Uh, but you have coins. 
Okay. The coins that you collect total up, and when you get 100 coins, you get an extra life. Okay. And there's saves. Um, you can't go backwards, though. You, you're... Because you're on a coaster. You're on a coaster. You only go forward. So, like, you can't back off and go to a save point mm -hmm. at any point. So, uh, also, you do get an interim save. If you, uh, you can pause the game and save in the middle and come back, and it'll remove the So, save. let's do the hard course, because the hard course has the most worlds. Yeah, because it, it's... The, the difficulty is just how many worlds there are. On easy, it's worlds one through three. On normal, it's up to world six. On hard, it's up to world nine. So, obviously, oh, so we jump straight into oh. the the hard course and it doesn't it just arbitrarily won't let you do the hard course until you've cleared the normal course so even though uh, the beginning of hard course is it's the exact normal. well it's, it's not two the thirds. exact same okay sort of sort of because on each of the difficulties it uses different variants of the mini games oh so you saw earlier we had uh, some mini games have different stages that you can uh, to, yeah. uh, it can randomly have and each of the, the difficulties, it will use a different one of those stages. So, you, you'll see right away here in Bumper Balls. Uh, on the easy course, it uses stage 1, which is just the, the flat plane over lava. On normal course, it uses stage 2, which has the ice block in the middle. And on hard course, it uses stage 3 with the bumps. So you got a draw, which means... Which means I lost. Because so, if it's not a win, then it's a loss. In this game, the very first stage is one where it's very easy to draw. Yeah. And uh, you run out of lives, you get a game over. And you gotta go back to your save point at the start of the world. Oh. So, uh... Bad. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to save? Yeah, when you load your game, it starts you on the save space and then asks if you want to save your game. <laughs> so, uh... We've already this time seen I won. every mini game, so we don't really need to see these. Yeah, in most real time. of us we're gonna be fast forwarding through, but, uh, you know, we beat the mini game, we get our 10 coins out of it. Mm -hmm. So, Bumper Balls is the first one right off the bat. Then we've got Roll Call. That's a nice, easy one. For me, at least. Yeah. Uh, this is another one that, based on the course that you're in, it'll pick a different one of the, the types. Either the Toads, the Boos, or the bob -Oms. And one interesting feature of this mode is you have a multiplier for consecutive clears. If you clear minigames in a row without getting losses, then you'll get a multiplier to your, your coins. So, because that was the second game I cleared in a row, I got twice as many coins. Nice. And next we have Tile Driver. Just be the first one to clear. You just you, you win this. You just win this. Some of the mini games do have like different goals in this mode than uh, just normal winning. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, all of them have just been win. Uh, actually, well, roll call was just get the correct answer. As long as you are one of the players with the correct answer. Because the, the, the computer players are completely pointless in that. Oh, they start you off with Slot Car Derby Yeah, Slot early. Car Derby is also in World 1. So after you've lost all of your lives in Bumper Balls, then you get Slot Car Derby and you game over and you start the World 1 over. This is uh, why we scrapped our live recording. Because I immediately game overed in World 1. But, uh... Hopefully it's smooth sailing, yeah, and by at, sailing at I mean World rolling. World 1 is just, it's only the four games in World okay. 1, and then you move on to World 2. And the music changes for each of the worlds. The background music. And you get to save, and when you save, it keeps track of your lives, your coins, and your current multiplier. Mm. Cake Factory! This one, it's it's 2v2. Uh, the 2v2 games, you get your partner that you selected at the, the start. Uh, this one, you just you need to get more cakes than the other team. Whatever. Destruction Duet, win. Pretty simple. Be the winner. Do the thing that wins. Uh, balloon Burst, again, you just gotta be the one that wins. Looney Lumberjacks. Be the team that wins. A lot of team games in World 2. Speed Hockey. Be the team that wins. Don't get a draw. 
And you can see the, the multiplier just goes up continually. There is no upper limit to the multiplier. Ooh. You can, if you just, if you're really good and really lucky, you can get your multiplier up to the point where you're getting multiple lives per win. Uh, anyway, that's it for right now, so tomorrow we'll see more of the rest of Coaster Mode.